Hello there fellow armchair generals and uh, welcome to another episode of Grand Tactician Civil War. Last time we won a battle here at Ibington. Um, I'm moving the army of the Shenandoah because we're really out of supplies at least, well, this ticked up a bit. Uh, the enemy army uh, retreated down south, so I'm worried that uh, we might have an issue here with iron mines, but uh, nothing we can do, we cannot chase them. They uh, retreated down south and I think they cannot do much, because uh, their readiness should be... Um, well, if anybody knows, because I don't have the readiness system, if that also applies for the enemy armies, because if that's the case, that's gonna be a nightmare. Um, they're gonna be roaming up in the background and we won't be able to do anything about it. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm moving the army um, of the Shenandoah up uh, towards Hampton Division to restock, resupply and we're gonna try and smash the Department of the Pennsylvania here. Uh, with combined units, I think we're able to do it. 6,000, yeah, there's already 12,000 men. Um, they probably are a bit stronger, so I do want to bring in the army of the Shenandoah in and um, Well smash them badly uh, here in the uh, in Miss, um, Missouri um, Well, the, our Western army slipped away. Thanks guys uh, But I have decided to move the Hampton division down to combine them and attack the Department of the West again. They seem to be getting more and more strength um, so We'll have to wait for the units to um, get on the battlefield. Yeah, there's not much coming. 2,000 men. We have one Mississippi rifle. Uh, we're gonna put this man into the Mississippi rifle one. That's uh, I'm actually combining the units like this for now. Uh, so we have better guns. Uh, the units with better guns have a full complement of men. Now available projects, um, nothing much, I'm not gonna take on Tony's skin because um, it is simply not worth it now. What we need um, is more recruits, it's still gonna take 10 days for a militia act and then additional 25 days, 25-ish days to get um, the military uh, and hopefully in the meantime we're gonna get some sort of a um, production of uh, guns, though it seems like it's gonna take a while. Yeah, maybe I did make a bit of a mistake from the start. Um, I didn't know that the poor muskets, uh, boy, recruit agents might not be a bad option, but we definitely need some sort of rifles. Uh, Springfields maybe? Springfield rifle muskets in the south. Yeah, we're probably gonna take that. But anyway, um, let me check on our Ohio James River Squadron. No, it's the New Orleans, sorry, not Ohio. New Orleans Squadron. I'm not sure why this is being burnt. Uh, but if we kind of try and get up to Cairo, first of all, we're going to move up here and see if there's anything there. Um, oh, they have a fort here. Uh, but yeah, in the next step we're gonna go up to probably Cairo and um, start messing up with enemy supply lines because that's gonna be the important part. Maybe even go up to Louisville um, or maybe Cincinnati, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's it for uh, for the start, let's see. So a uh, man filled it, oh, we're up at 51,000 versus enemies uh, 53,000. Uh, Navy Town Inch, as I said in the previous episode, we are, um, I am building like uh, 10 new uh, ships, so that's gonna be 500 additional guns. I'm gonna check how far we are. Um, trade warfare, economy, yeah, we are very, very low on economy, so we're gonna have to do that. Uh, we're gonna have to take care of that. Now let's check real quick how much... Um, 5%, so how much the, the ship's progress has been made. These were repaired from 50%, so I'll probably put this, it's 11 guns. Um, Timberland gunboat. 
scenery or why cannot I select this one? Maybe it's um, busted up to the point that it is not seaworthy. But yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead and uh, tune in when something happens. Hopefully we're not gonna get our nuts cracked. Because it's um, it really got me worried if the, the... Ah, there's the army. of uh, The army of the Potomac. It really got me worried that uh, because the, I made a mistake by turning off uh, the readiness system, the AI might not... Um, might not have the issue with readiness then either. But yeah, like I said, uh, see ya. See ya soon. Uni disintegrates, so we did manage to take, I mean to mm, disable six ships, oh my god, ships three. These guys need to go back to ports. Return to port, please. Do we even have the option to do that? have six disabled chips uh, I thought we we're gonna get um, they're gonna all get sunk now let's see what's happening over here this is still somehow I don't know why it's like that okay let's move up to Cairo and start harassing enemy ports orders we're gonna raid now I'm still moving the Hampton division um, down south they're out of ammunition food which is bad uh, we're gonna give them the order to force march uh, the enemies have decided to start building up a supply depot here so uh, it's gonna take a while for the enemy to actually be mobile again or let's say on the move so we can prepare, maybe I'm gonna build our own supply depot, but I would rather take this one. Um, so yeah, forced march it is. And hopefully when they get there, they're gonna uh, recuperate faster. Army of the Shenandoah is still on the march. Mm, not much we can do for now, but uh, yeah. I'll try and solve this issue here, send these uh, units back to uh, the port. Oh, come on. Um, send them back, uh, return to port and uh, start raiding with the Savannah squadron. Well, yeah, the decision was made. We went for reboard muskets um, and ordered, I think, 25,000. It's gonna take 130 uh, days to get them. Uh, but it's the only... Where is it? Uh, military weapons. So yeah, 138 days, um, there was only a 38 days difference between 10,000 and 25,000 pieces. So um, yeah, we went to buy 25,000, uh, it costs us, wait, there should be a fall in finances, I mean in fall, a fall in our uh, cash supply, should show. Or maybe it only costed this much. Wait a second, how much? Because it's 25,000 um, times 400. That should be like 12, yeah, 12 million. 12 million. Interesting. Our finances didn't go down that much. Um, well, we're gonna see what happens. I'm a bit worried about the army of the Potomac. It's lurking in this area. Uh, we still didn't get any proper recruits. Um, can we recruit more units in the Hampton division? Because we're gonna need them. No. Still no volunteers. Oh boy, this is um, way harder than uh, it used to be. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep on um, keep on playing. We'll see where we'll get to. Okay, we got the farm mechanization. We can wait a second. It says we can afford 
Cotton is king and plantation mechanization. Ah, okay, but that's not gonna work. Plantation mechanization, it says it does not give us more. Um, While well, slave labor is cheap, boosting production can be achieved. It only increases cotton production, so that's not what we are after. Uh, we're after farm mechanization. I'm also moving these three armies um, into the position to attack um, the Department of the Pennsylvania. Um, so, nothing special that we should make. Uh, we're repairing the ships, by the way. Uh, they, we lost one ship, but that's fine. Uh, we still managed to win down south, um, south of Florida. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm setting up an attack um, on the Department of the Pennsylvania. Uh, we're also moving these troops around. Oh, they are here. Okay, fine. So we're gonna set up... Oh boy, uh, supplies are low. Let's set these two armies up to be able to attack. Oh, come on, move up. Um, let's see, do we have... Five days, six days, so we're gonna have to wait a bit more. Eight days, yeah, we're gonna wait um, a few more days, then we're gonna attack uh, 3.4 days for Militia Act 2, then we're gonna go for military because we really, we really need <laughs> better rifles, um, and we need to have an option to, um, I don't know. Order some uh, some other rifles, weapon production. That might not be a bad option to uh, have. But anyway, uh, let's move on. Glorious victory at Tennessee River, Ohio squadron in retreat. Very nice. Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, are we in retreat? Raiding intact. Why the heck are we moving down south? No, 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 no. Okay, at least we know there's an Ohio squadron up here. Uh, fleet orders, patrol, blockade. Oh, this is super odd. Why are they moving back? They're moving back to where we um, gave them the order to go and um, raid. Um, what I've seen here is that Army of the Northeastern 21,000, man, Jesus Christ. Uh, they moved into the area, so they might be moving across. Uh, we have to defend, so we're gonna move the armies back. the Hampton Division. They immediately reacted when I started moving the armies. Uh, can we slip through? No. So we're gonna go back to Grafton. Oh boy, this is getting uh, dangerous here. Oh, wait a second. If you manage to beat this unit, 13,000 men. Let's see what do we have here. Infields, mixed muskets. We still cannot upgrade anything. Um, reboard muskets. It would be nice if uh, the muskets, for example, you know, it is a running order, but if they would get, if you would get pieces when they are created, uh, I mean, when they are built or made, produced, whatever, like 3000 at a time. Wait a second, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hold. And we're gonna try and attack this uh, army anyway. Because we have to dislodge them somehow. Move there. Move there. Or actually, don't get too close. Let's 
from the enemy doesn't come down south. 15,000 men, we have 18,000 here, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm worried about our center, it's gonna be an issue. Uh, let's see, how many men do we have here? 10,000, they're not on the field yet, 7 days. 4 and 5, so we're gonna wait a week and then we're gonna engage. But the main uh, part we have is up, oh yeah, they are coming down south. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, anyway, we're gonna try and uh, fight this army. Ooh, they seem to be coming over to help. Okay, uh, we're gonna move in and force march. Are they pulling back? Force march. They seem to be pulling back. Oof. That got a bit hairy. Uh, Army of the Shenandoah is gonna be the one to attack. We're gonna move this unit even, I mean, this army even closer. Okay, they pulled back, thanks God. have to force march anymore we might get attacked here two days 12 days Mississippi Springfields the rest is not equipped Springfield rifles uh, we're gonna give them One Mississippi rifle. The other one's gonna have a Springfield rifle. And you are gonna have. Oh! Why cannot we equip them with the infields? I don't get it. We were able to equip them with the infields. Um, you guys told you not to. Russian more. Uh, Hampton Division Army of the Shenandoah, you move up and engage. And you go on forced march because we're gonna have to help down here, I'm pretty sure. Is there anything else we can manage? Uh, field guns 12 pounders, 12 pounders, 6 pounders. Can we give them 12 pounders? Or maybe even 24. Now we're gonna leave it as it is. Two days. Now this is still odd why cannot I give them the infields. Oof, I guess we're gonna be in for a fight here in Alexandria. And if they come down here they're gonna severely outnumber us. Oh, okay, that's this engagement. Um, so Johnston with 30,000 men versus uh, Department of Pennsylvania with 11,000 men. We outgun and outnumber them, so let's let's hop into this battle now. Winfield Scott, oh, he's a rising star. Well, he's no, his star's not gonna be um, rising anymore after this battle. So, Battle of Cumberland, Maryland, May 18th, 1861. Okay, Battle of Cumberland. <clears throat> We're still waiting for our reinforcements. Three hours and two hours, so they shouldn't take long. Um, I moved the army of the Shenandoah up. Uh, we're gonna have to attack this point. So we're gonna march up to Shepsburg. I hope the reinforcements are gonna come from south, not from this side. Um, but anyway, wherever they come from, um, we're gonna bring them in because the uh, army of the Shenandoah on its own is not strong enough uh, to attack and to win. Maybe we're gonna engage with uh, one division that has Mississippi rifles. That's not this one. Um, Garnet's division, I think. Yeah. No. 
Oh boy. Yeah, Anderson. Anderson has just one single um, proper spring wheel life from musket. Um, so yeah, let's start. I'm gonna set uh, things up. Uh, get um, tune in when we start the engagement. Hmm. Yeah, they have a pretty strong defensive line. Um, I think the best option would be to attack from this side because we have defensive positions here. Um, we're gonna start a. Um, Cannon duel, but I'm not sure if I if I should position um, Johnston on our left flank with two divisions. Start pushing in. Uh, we're gonna put some other divisions here with uh, that have. Uh, longer range rifles so we can actually be in positions probably defensive positions and fire the enemy and start attacking from the flank so I'm gonna move around uh, establish this position we're gonna move uh, something like this uh, with both divisions start an artillery duel uh, probably from this side and uh, when the new armies arrive the, the two other armies arrive we're gonna move in move them in straight ahead so yeah time to reposition stuff okay it's a bit wonky um, because it shows for example <clears throat> I've said the unit of the, the uh, which one this division I've set them to move from like this area to here and then one single um, brigade decided to go up the road um, and the other way, you know, the, the two divisions, I mean two brigades went this way, uh, the third one went around. So, I don't know why that happens, I took them off the roads, but anyway, the reinforcements have come in. Uh, let's see, Army of the North, whatever. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with this game today? Can you please move the whole division up? So is that all the reinforcements? There should be another one coming in. Hardy arrives. And Magruder arrives. Ah, there's another one. So there's Magruder. With his Hampton division, we're also gonna move them all up into the town and start positioning from there on but uh, I'm already moving the units on the flank so this is gonna be one division coming from this side um, and there's another division coming from the north so we're gonna establish this line and start pushing forward with the other two armies as soon as they arrive up north we're gonna start attacking uh, the main line um, the cannons as usual they are making issues getting to the woods. Um, we cannot fire on this first better here. They don't have the vision, I don't know why. Um, so I'm gonna move the cannons up. Are you guys set to move? Could you please? Um, we have to reposition the cannons, so we're gonna move them up on top of the hill and hopefully they're gonna be able to fire uh, on the enemy guns, maybe even go into a uh, bombardment. But yeah, this unit again is uh, moving on the road, which is fine as long as uh, their butts are not being shot up. So, these guys are gonna take a while to get up, which is fine. Let's speed up the time a bit. I'm gonna tune in when we uh, are closer to the engagement. Ah, this is not a good spot for the artillery. They're firing down on Taylor's detachment. Uh, they are not firing over, which I would like them to, to bombard, you know, to bombard the enemy lines. The only way we can get 
to attack them is through here. So we're gonna move them on this spot. It really sucks. Um, that we have to constantly reposition. But anyway, we're gonna get there. Uh, single line, please. They are already set to long range. You guys need to get to long range and then single line. Okay, units are slowly marching up. Let's hope we do have the Mississippi rifles in this one. Bad luck, only the infields with only 900 men. Why are the units so small? 800 men with Mississippi rifles. Jeez Louise. Um, kinda made a mistake before the battle, I guess. I should um, put the men into the units. Okay. Is one unit routed? Nervous. Oh boy, this is bad. Are they being shot? Probably they're being a counter battery fire. Oh boy, this is bad. Where's your commander? Really? I guess the artillery duel is not going as planned. Uh, we'll have to start moving our units in. Maybe that's gonna make them switch. Okay, advance. Uh, cavalry. We're gonna move the cavalry on the hill behind them. Maybe they're gonna uh, give us some vision. Long range. Get the cannons up here. Do we have more? Doesn't look like it. 200 men, that's uh, kind of me. You guys need to go long range. We are gonna start advancing. Yeah, but our cannons are not looking that well. So yeah, we're gonna have to start uh, pushing soon. We're losing artillery left and right. So we're gonna have to make the push. Um, we're still waiting for this brigade to come up and then we're gonna start advancing to the next line. While we are positioned at least on their flank, uh, we're gonna do our best to get to this um, fence uh, with both divisions, but we have to get these units uh, also ready. So here's how the battle is gonna go, at least uh, that's the plan. Cavalry on the flank, we'll see if we're gonna utilize it, uh, they're too weak to do anything, but uh, two divisions moving uh, up on the defensive lines. As soon as these two engage, we're gonna try and start pushing. So, time to move them in. Um, advance and double time it. We're gonna move this division a bit further up. And we're gonna try and squeeze them in, not like that. Okay, like this. Advance and double time it. They're all set to long range. Our cannons have been defeated, more or less. Um, go for counter battery fire. Can you actually fire at all? Okay, it seems like they are uh, firing. Yeah, we're moving up the first units. Uh, they're coming up on the field to establish a line. But we're gonna make a dash towards this uh, defensive position here. Towards this wall. If we manage to get to it um, that's gonna be extremely nice. But then we're gonna have to push from the sides. If 
five casualties. Yeah, there are things landing in. We do have one single unit with a 400 uh, yards range. Spring fields are here, so let's hope. Um, well, let's hope everything goes as planned. Because otherwise we're gonna have uh, some huge losses here, and we definitely don't want that. Are you guys firing? Says they are idle. Probably they cannot see through the trees. Let's move them down here then. Um, Mississippi rifles, they're just outside of range. So we're gonna move them closer. I do not want to get too close to their cannons. Okay, they are reacting by sending more units uh, here. Which is uh, perfectly fine with me, because we need to try and fold in their flank. This is going to be our main focus of attack. Why are they so slow? They have the whole order on. Okay, nice. We've opened up. Let's hope these guys can open up. Yes. Awesome. Ooh, are they gonna charge us straight in? 2.7 thousand. We have only 1600. Okay, time to move this division in. Get in. Get into the cabbage fields. Wait, where is another unit? Don't you have like three units? What the heck is the third one? blind it says it's here <laughs> where the heck is the third brigade <laughs> oh man did they run off the field well, is this unit firing? It's not. Oh my god, what the heck? Stop, stop. St What about the Mississippi rifle? I mean, come on, man. Get into the range, please. I'm gonna wait. Where the heck is the third brigade? <laughs> oh, man, such an awesome game, but uh, still keeps you amazed at how things can get so freaking wonky. <laughs> Getting the cavalry in on the road. We just need to see our presence. We're gonna bring this cavalry over here. Let's hope they don't go up the road because um, I mean I'm gonna personally go there and shoot somebody. I still don't know where the third unit is from this um, division. It's um, just nowhere. Maybe it hasn't arrived. Okay, Mississippi riflemen have opened up. This unit is getting seriously lit up. Let's hope it managed to. Oh my god. Enemy behind cover. Yeah, well, we are behind cover as well. Can you please advance? Just let them fire on the enemy. Um, you guys lay down. 
I was planning to do that before, but I really don't know where the heck the third unit is. I don't want, I'm reluctant to move, you know, the unit, I um, mean, the whole division, because it's just gonna turn into a mess. Guns, six. Guns, zero. Okay, guns, three. Just fire down on the enemy wherever you can. They, da they are firing now. Artillery battery, go grab the guns. Are this enemy reacting? Our unit is falling back. Nice, double timing. We will not uh, do anything. losses broken let's keep on firing on the enemy okay now this is when the third army uh, third unit would be in handy right um, move on there double time it Start pushing from this side as well. There is a fence. And you guys need to move here. Double time it because we're gonna have to throw them in. It really sucks, you know, the range of the guns. It's too short to do anything to be able to fire down on the enemy. Uh, Casualty is only 45. You guys double time it. Nice, they've opened up with the cavalry. There's an enemy cavalry retreating. How did that happen? Ooh, they seem to be coming out. Uh, infields. They seem to be retreating, so let's move them a bit. Well, actually, I'll stop. Move them here. Can we threaten their flank somehow? Yes, we cannot. I would advance on them if uh, not for this first battery. Okay, they are pulling back, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna bring the Mississippi rifles closer. They have two brigades. Closer. We need to uh, get more guns on them. We're gonna stay put here. How are we doing? Fine. Now, did that brigade stop running away? Engaging the enemy. Are they engaging the enemy? They are. Move a bit closer. We are engaging there. Seems like uh, Winkop's brigade is wavering with only 100 casualties. We've drive, uh, driven off the enemy cavalry here, which 
is awesome. Now it's time to push on these two brigades. And then I think we're gonna be golden. So let's move them into the woods. Start advancing. We're gonna stay hidden here for a while. They still have the range, which is great. We're gonna move them in like that. And move you up. Nice. Cavalry is under fire as well. We're slowly driving them off. Right in, boys. Right in. Let's hope we manage to inflict some casualties. Or maybe even get uh, their whole unit, you know, to kind of lift their arms and uh, surrender didn't I told you to advance please keep on advancing Ooh, so uh, first brigade 450 losses let's hope you do manage to capture the unit Okay, the cavalry is routing. We're not gonna chase those down. They should route as well. Let's get the Mississippi rifles in. Okay, now they are being squeezed out. Cannons. Uh, counter battery, just fire at will, please. We we'll go and fire at will as well. First cavalry is being routed. Still 450, so yeah, nothing happens. We just uh, had three losses. <laughs> Stumbling horses and all that. Did they open up? They are opening up. Awesome. Get to the line. I'm gonna bring Mississippi rifles over. There. I'm gonna move them here. And we're gonna move this army, I mean, this brigade over there. They should falter soon. They're surrounded more or less. Fired upon from all sides. our morale doing 220 losses yeah these guys were in the first line of attack they will not last uh, not last long okay man you go and double time it because we need to attack the cannons um, I really do not want to close in the range because they have five guns here so no go uh, we're gonna move this unit up. They're confident, so let's hope they stay confident. In the meantime, we're gonna come by uh, their flank and bring in the Mississippi rifles into support. Okay, so we did route 2nd Brigade. Negley's Brigade is also wavering. a complete and utter destruction of an enemy army, uh, more or less, so they're moving out, let's bring you in, oops, double time it, ah, they're retreating, still double time it, we're gonna try and uh, inflict some casualties on them, 
double time it. 48 minutes. So if nothing happens, I'm gonna make a, a cut here. But um, I think we did a pretty darn good job. Uh, this time we're driving them out. That's too dangerous. I'm gonna see where they're gonna retreat, because if they retreat um, the right way, we're gonna send in the cavalry and take them out. Okay, good, good. attack the enemy artillery charge them boys oh boy let's hope they don't get lit up back off now back off uh, I did set up an attack line here They are firing at something, but um, let's see. Well, they obviously they didn't get their orders yet, but uh, they're gonna have some more losses. Because uh, we, we are firing upon them. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, we're just gonna skip time until they are fully routed. Look at that. Yeah, that's all of them routing. Good job! We've lost 1,000 men, they lost 2,500, they lost all their guns. Um, I think we did pretty well, though we had a uh, much uh, larger army. But anyway, it is a major confederate victory. We need those to get the morale up, to keep the morale up. And um, yeah, that's gonna conclude today's episode, so... Um, Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and uh, see you in the next one.